Hello everybody, welcome to the final of the NAF kickoff event. Uh, very exciting. Uh, it is myself versus Call Troop. I've got dwarves, Call Troop has humans. I'm going to concentrate on playing. We have um, some very esteemed gentlemen in the booth. We have got um, Purple Chest, Dementor and Dimmy G. So I shall now uh, mute myself and concentrate on playing. Thank you very much. Take it away, boys. Hello. Hello. Just me in the booth, All right. I am losing Hello. my game, by the way, Dimmy. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> I'm playing goblins, so. But oh. it's about to be over, so I'll concentrate on this game while I wait for my opponent to have fun. Jimmy uh, electing to receive. Hmm. Uh. Probably trying to get some damage, and so he doesn't have to. And then, well, obviously, dwarves have like a slightly more difficult offensive drive than they do defensive. Well, right. yeah, I think he just wants the bang to start well, with. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's like that's also probably quite accurate, isn't it? I'd suggest it is probably uh, slightly a mix of those. There's some other factors too. Um, you look at the racial matchup as dwarves, you think you're more likely to be removing the humans than they are the dwarves. So not only can you try and get your drive done whilst you can put full focus in, uh, and of course in an overtime format it also means you can throw all of your re-rolls at this first half at, yes, your slightly trickier offense, uh, and absolutely nail it and get it done. It puts you in control of the clock. With overtime it puts you in control of the entire match state and situation that way. And as I said, it means in the second half you can either choose to use the rerolls and go for the stop, or to save them up and hope for the ball in overtime. It gives you that tactical option to choose from. Yep. Uh, and Jimmy, you know, like me, is a great believer that usually in NAF, having the ball and being in that control of the clock is a good place to be. So I suspect that's why he's uh, taking the ball. Hmm. The old humans have set up a little bit further back than usual as well. Yeah, he's done this every match, and we've commented on it and said it's not very good every match. <laughs> but I, I think it's interesting. I don't think it's useful, especially in this match. I guess the the point is you have to go for it and put yourself out of position to blitz. Well, he just right. he's like I mean, if he gets a blitz, it's completely wasted, right? So, um, yeah. Yes, it, it it sacrifices the blitz and indeed good position in case of misfield. What you're doing is you're costing a blitz for the dwarves. It's very unlikely they're going to push a, a beard four spaces forwards and then blitz with a, a blitz that then can't retreat off that square. Yeah. So it means you're guaranteeing them to sort of gamble rerolls on GFIs, or you're sucking two dwarves deep into the backfield where they can be isolated and fouled out. Um, there is, of course, a sneaky git, so it's obvious that fouling is a weapon in the uh, humans' armory, who are reasonably long on the bench. Uh, they've lost one already, but they do have two sats on the bench, so. But the other thing is, he's he's like foul. I don't think there is a sneaky gear, is it? He's giving the dwarves like a bit of like free movement. Oh no, you're right. I was misreading the skill. I thought, oh god, it's all so small on my screen. Hmm. So what are you saying, do? It was, it was it, like it does give the dwarves a bit of free movement. Like that's the thing. Like, well, completely. They, they if, this, if, if this pickup fails one in nine, is it really that important? No. I mean, it has failed, and the humans can't really respond to it which is yeah. pretty terrible as a team faster than dwarves um, and particularly as a hybrid team they should be looking to maybe to try and emphasize some of their elfishness in uh, this particular matchup yeah definitely um, I mean put even a catcher into this backfield for a start Jimmy, Jimmy couldn't have set up like this couldn't have been holding that line if there was any pressure on his backfield he'd have to have put a tackler back just in case possibly another dwarf thus creating some more space to actually get in there um, it's just sacrificing a lot of potential momentum. Well, it's guaranteed free movement to the halfway line, and um, with dwarves, mm. it's like the hardest part of the dwarf driver is getting forward, and he's just he sacrificed quite a lot of space for no real cost. Yeah, I'm struggling to see the game. Like I said, you avoid a single blitz attack, but it also means the two humans up on the line are unlikely to stand this turn. They are isolated. And uh, Jim's probably going to get to punch a guard here. Uh, yeah, because he's, he's gone for no guard on the ogre. 
And then two guard, one mighty blow, one tackle. Tackle obviously useless here uh, for the humans, which is... Was the yeah. Blitz declared by the Ogre? Uh, no, I, th I think... No, Blitz the... Um, that long the mighty long blow. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Hmm. The Ogre just boneheaded. But yes, he's literally I mean, I... got like, his two most valuable players available to get Blitz. Because well, now he's got to try and find a way of engaging with these dwarves. And, you know, I'd have really liked, if I was going to do that, I would have really liked to have lost a few dwarves to protecting the backfield stabilization phase. Whereas Jimmy can just, you know, throw everything at this. Because there's still no pressure to his backfield. Hmm. I mean, having said that, he might want to just, you know, actually stabilize before he goes too aggressively towards them while he still does have the flanks covered yeah you if this is another one in nine and you oh, you push forward you're in trouble right so. yeah well potentially could be there still is an actual trouble practical trouble <laughs> So, uh, slightly important one nine, but still not that important. Gets. Okay. Am I mad to be being tempted to blitz the mighty blow with the ogre here? Yeah, I think. Uh, I, that's, I think that's recent. You can slip that card in the middle. Well. And, yeah. Yeah, I actually think. Blitzing with the ogre, that's why I asked if he did it last turn when I looked away. I think it's a reasonable way to engage if you've given yourself this self willed problem. Yeah, it looks like he's going for it. Well, he might go with the mighty blow and then wrap the ogre around the other side. That's the other option. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, so he's doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. So. Armor yeah, break, the no problem with that is it, it did miss the opportunity to push it from the ogre, for example, onto the mighty blow in case of a yeah. push. Um, which I quite liked, but it, it then would have meant risking blitzing with the ogre. But if you have him without guard, without block, and without putting him up on the line, I mean, there's then a question as to what he is for. I suppose standing there being the twat magnet, but hmm. a lot of TV to tie one or two dwarfs up, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon um, I'd want the ogre just to sit on the mighty blow all game, basically. So if yeah, he's going to punch anything, he's got to punch the AV-10 or... It's quite a nice trade for the humans, I think. Um, well, I think it's crazy he wasn't on the line. He's got you know, high AV and thick skull. He's, yeah. he's good at taking the punches. Plus the dwarves then have to concentrate their guard around him if they want to keep taking him down. Hmm. Uh, the the ogre not being on the line says to me that he wants to play more of a more of like a, a hybrid moving around game than getting stuck in mm. but uh, but then setting up full back makes me think he doesn't want to do that it's, it's a weird like you can't take advantage of you can't take advantage of the problems in the setup for him I mean that said we've got to respect the fact he's reached this final he's got a, a ticket into the, uh, the the four way elimination isn't it before the actual finals of the um, season 2 prize yep so you know he's clearly knows what he's doing yeah, very much so. So, does he stick the the blitzer in with guard there to make this a two die, or what else does he do here? He could just tag out the ogre, but that means putting more TV on it. Um, I think I would just yeah. chuckle one or this, but yeah, you want to move everyone else first. That looks like what he's doing. Yeah, you don't want to put the guard on the ogre. That's so. Uh... Not so hot. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. That blitz. can that blizzard get around on? He's counting. Snow, I think. I mean, on a three plus four plus, I think it can. Yeah, so three four two two. Y yes, for a one die, which isn't shocking. Yeah, he's considering to go for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd I'd want that shot. Oh, of yeah. course, it's the one. But at least he makes the reroll. I think that is stronger. I think in NAF style, people do take a three four. Because obviously, if you fail the three, you probably don't reroll it. But the four you probably do. That's seventy-five percent with a reroll to get one die on the ball. I think that's pretty sexy. And if it pops out the side, he had two or three humans could get round there and, and either in, pick it up or, or interfere with it. Certainly. So I think that GFI was needed. So just just closing out the position, putting putting a bit of squeeze on, not much, but just holding the centre. Um, it'll be interesting to see where Jimmy goes from here. Well, if there's an upside to this plan from the humans, it's this, isn't it? It's that now when they do engage, they're choosing absolutely where their pieces go. Um, and they did, I suppose, slightly minimise attrition and how tied up they were in those first turns or two. But I thought he was setting up a foul then. <clears throat> he hasn't really got anyone left to foul with though, that's the problem. Yeah, but also fouling thick skull is it's not good, right? He's got he's got a lot of players and and an apo, but I think he just wants to minimise attrition rather than maximise attrition on on Jimmy. I mean if you yeah, can frenzy a dwarf out of position and get six or seven assists around it, then fouling works great. But casual one and two assist fouling against A V nine with thick skull, it's it's not great. Oh, the two blaze. It's the rerolling as well. Yes, Mordred. I'm trying to see the upside, and perhaps that's it. Is that they can try and carve enough dwarfs off that they can put the cage under massive pressure. Um, yeah. If they can leave three dwarfs <clears throat> even on that ogre with maybe one other human. Then yeah. If I'm Jim, I'm just going straight over to that mighty blow guy, and I'm going to blitz with the mighty blow guy to get him off the ogre. Of course, Artemis without a Slayer doesn't have easy answers to big strong things. Yeah, so you can put, you, you have the option of just leaving a couple of dwarves on it and shoving massively into the right hand side here. Mm, so. Yes, but it's how do you only leave one or two dwarves on it? Not the four that are over that side currently. Yeah, so you, so you have this <coughs> chain here, push... Uh, yeah, so uh, either push in... one off or you block or blitz off. Yeah, that's why he's taking the push. Oh, he's block as well, and that's a blitz off. Oh, is it? Yeah, no, sorry, no, I thought it was the other one hitting this, because I still can't tell what's going on. That's yes, not I thought blitz, he wanted right? to get that free one off. Oh, and he doesn't. Well... But in response, he gets an armor break, so lovely. Delightful. Yes, the first hit was Blitz, and the second hit wasn't. Yeah, it's it's sort of tell from how they hold their hands. Yeah, the, I, I find the human team really hard to do. Like, even the oh, human catches. Yeah. It's like the linos look the same, but they've got the fin on the helmet, the Blitzers, haven't they? They've got the, like, the shark fin. Well, they all have the fin, but it's just a little bit longer off the Blitzers. <laughs> Right, blow off the ogre, job done. Yeah. So... Yep, that's nice. Mm -hmm. The problem is that if the ogre just hits one of the dwarfs in front of it, it's it's captured one of the guard pieces as well. But yeah. Um... Well, he's got to activate it though. That's the problem. Is so always so. Yes. What are we on turn four? Hmm. Got to figure out a way to get forward. I think next turn. 
he does need to look for some space somewhere. It's yep. one of the problems of not having a Slayer. Is Slayers are quite good at moving pieces around and also at dealing with big guys. And he's got sort of simultaneously both problems here on opposite sides. If that uh, tackling blitzer that's moved forwards could be moved two squares out of the way rather than just knocked over, it creates a lot more space for a side push. Yeah. Um, and similarly, you know, that ogre is, is standing there loud and proud saying, come take me on. Which, I think, with that yeah. stun in the middle, is probably the way I would choose to go. I'd go through the ogre here, yeah. At the moment. Yes, I mean, obviously the turn isn't quite over yet, and there's some positioning in the backfield to be done, but that certainly looks the weak point here. <clears throat> he's not thinking about a reroll here, is he? No, he's considering the push of the both down, right? Uh, I guess he, he wants to keep... Yeah, I'd have taken the push. Uh, leaving him in there leaves some very sexy chains. Yeah, yeah, I, I really the, don't like the this. The trash dwarves on the far right can hit the guard humans. First of all, just knocking one out the way, and then the second one in hits the one in the corner and can... You know, use the dead body, push that out, can push the other dwarf out, away from contact with the other two humans. All really nice stuff to do. Um, you know, freeing that blitzer up to move without a dodge would be great. Lots Ooh. of sexy options there. That's four. That's just made it easier for Jim. Well... Now he's got a hit on the hasn't... guard boost for free. Well, you can hit the guard for free, and if he follows here, you can hit the mighty blow for free. He was Jim was in a worse spot before he did that blitz. Yes, but both of those are pushing him back towards the right, Dimmy, where the humans are strong. Whereas actually, he wants to free pieces up and head left if he can. Oh, now oh wow, yeah, there. this is now some problems. <clears throat> if this is an armor break as well. I mean, you might have to just do what you've talked about, Dimmy. I mean, it's a lovely couple of hits and it does shore things up, but it's not going to give you space moving forwards. Yeah, I, I mean... He could jump over the body. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can... Yeah, I mean, that person can stand up just and move. Just like, with seven dwarves. Just to... <laughs> <laughs> but... I mean, if, if, he, if he gets yeah, I think removal, he I now like... favour going to war on the right, just full in. Smash yeah. everything into them. I mean, yeah. You tagged out the uh, the ogre for one long bid. Yeah, and it's a trash dwarf on it, and you can leave yeah. him there, and no one else can help him. So, oh, the way God. that's now worked out, it's abandoned ogre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is he going to blitz here, or is he going to blitz? Yeah, I'd be blitzing that one. The one he's looking at right now, of course. Because then you get your hits in with the other one that's trapped between the other two. I mean, it's it does all sorts of funky, sexy, sexy, uh, sexy things. That stun by the Mighty Blow is really nice as well, because he can move the ball carrier two squares left, and then it's pretty safe. And then yeah. and both those dwarves worry can move dodge. next turn. Yeah, yeah, and then they can go and fight, you know? So, yeah. So that, no, that turn looked really nice for the humans, until right at the end it suddenly turned into quite a negative position. Yeah. And although Jimmy isn't moving forwards, you feel he's in a much nicer place than he was. So next turn, turn yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's going to have to get forward next turn. Yes. Particularly as he has built without a second runner as well, hasn't he? Or is there a runner on the bench? There is a second runner. Yeah, yeah it's a on the one, Yeah. Twelve players. Although his blitzers are advanced, so theoretically they could form some. Um, catching options and scoring options further up the field as well. They're already in two turns range. I mean, it doesn't have to panic, but I'd definitely be feeling a bit urgent, a bit more urgent. Yeah, I need to get a proper shift on. What profit a man if he gaineth four spaces but loseth the ball? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, Paul Kong. Keep the double screen up. Um, yeah, this is nice. And then, yeah, 
Well, so he sacrifices not making any progress this turn, but he really has to really has to speed it up next turn. Um, oh, and he's turned the circles. Oh, just gonna just make it marginally easier to see which is w what is what. Yes, what humans are what. The amount, the amount of times that I've had those circles on and still mistaken what <laughs> positionals are. Like, I literally blitzed this guy there. It was humans as well, and I blitzed him thinking, oh, he's a lino. And then, like, because he, he didn't have, like, I only had the learn skills on, so it, it, he had no skills on. And then he was a one in nine, so I was like, yeah, fine, I've knocked him over. And then he just stood there, and I was like, what? And then I looked down, and he's got a massive yellow circle under him. <laughs> I mean, to some degree, it, it's not Cyanide's fault. They have been, you know, copied the the tabletop models very faithfully. I, they just somehow don't stand out like they do on tabletop, where you can just, you know, focus in, peer a little closer, and it's obvious which piece is which on almost all teams. Yeah, the, I've struggled with the humans the most, I think. <clears throat> I mean, because obviously, like chaos, it's quite obvious. Yeah, like, Nurgle. Yeah, there are ones it is clear. I mean, even, yeah. the, even the Dark Elves, you can reasonably accurately tell blitzers from blind people. Ooh, massive burnhead. Uh, in in matchups like this, uh, every burnhead is is mm -hmm. large for the... Uh, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, there's some, just a gaping hole. That's the thing, it's like, the way he blows, he tempted Will. to use him, but then, like, he hasn't got block or guard, so... Like... It's not really massively useful. Keeping cool. Right. But this looks looks like he's still still continuing to the right. I guess if this is a pal. Yeah, you can come through here now. He did need those two pals to make this solid though. Not sure about that follow, I guess you just, but you're just going to plonk the uh, one of the I would have stayed, beers. absolutely stayed on the troll, but perhaps the one down by the, down to, the next to his mighty blow is going on instead. Yeah, that, that's what <coughs> Rather doing. than trying to make ground up the right, which I think the rest of the dwarves are about to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't really get the ball safe though. He's going to do some yeah, PCs, one, isn't he? He's going to do some PCs. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, but now you don't have... Like, this guy has to Dwar go dwarves six. Dwarves are movement so six. Yeah, dwarves are movement six to make sure. <laughs> dwarves yeah, can yeah. move six, but uh, yeah. I. <laughs> yeah, he has to leave... Like, but it's a very effective turn in, in many ways, four. but... And there's no way of stopping this. No, three block. Right? You, this, this. If he puts the cage yeah. there, then the, no, you the, drop the, the mighty blow in behind. I'd have thought one, two, three, four, he, he five, six. It. Oh no, you still can't close the other side to a yeah. casual four plus yeah. from the downed tackle bloke, can you? Yeah, yes, I think. Okay, he has to stop just over the halfway line, exactly two in front of where he is now, three in front of where he is now. Yeah, 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 yeah right there. Yeah. So if he hadn't followed range. that, it, if he hadn't followed that rookie. Um, Longbeard could have done the double GFI and make it make it more secure. Oh, I need to tickle their balls. Hello, Hancock. <laughs> it's interesting. Super interesting. Well, this is well, an even bigger ogre thing. activation, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, it has to activate because at the moment it's useless. It has to do a hit and knock that dwarf over. Actually, the dwarf, as long as it pushes it clear, it's fine. And it has to stand there being strong to prevent the switch to the left-hand side. And then most of the rest of your focus can go on stopping this move at the right. Or at least clogging it up to the point where the ball is vulnerable if it moves forward. Hmm. I, I know it sounds mental, but I don't even hate an ogre blitz here and then bring the ogre over to the other side. Yeah, yeah. But then the left would be completely unguarded, didn't he? But yeah, I wouldn't have moved like the catcher back and all that sort of thing. I would have uh, probably right. like because yeah, I guess it's tough, isn't it? 
I mean, because the, the thing is, you want Jim to go to the left because all these dwarves are on the right. So if you just leave a couple of guys back and the ogre blitzes and comes across, like, how many dwarves are going to get back across there? Jim needs to be in scoring range next turn, right? So if he's in scoring range with the ball, there's nothing defending it if you move the ogre over to the other side and you completely shut down the other side. So I think, yes, it's not good and it is a bit mad and it, you're relying on an ogre blitz. But I think it's also quite spicy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But now there's just a massive, massive hole to the left anyway, right? Yeah. I mean, like yeah. now he just walks through it. Like, well, shit, shit trap. if he didn't dodge, like if he just stood up and took the hit, Jim was in a lot more trouble. Like trouble there. But like, I don't know why the catcher's gone all the way back there either. Like, and the leader either. It's uh. Yeah. I, I can understand the leader to an extent, but the the catcher. I can't really understand. The, the catcher should probably be... Yeah, so if you don't do that dodge, then the catcher's a couple squares behind. He should be central, line. yeah. So yeah. he can go left or right, you know? Like, your sweeper should always be central. He shouldn't be, like, over one side. Yep. Especially when they're movement eight, like, it's... Like, because there's nothing to stop Jim sidelining on the left-hand side now. Like, nothing's going to get to him. Uh, well, humans are fast. Well, humans are so, on the floor. Like that's the thing. Yeah, so they're, not, one, they're not very fast off their backs. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can get quite a good screen in here. And it's like red dice as well. He only needs like a sideline thing. He could even do the guard thing. He can even put the ball in between the guard and the mighty blow, and just have it over on the left hand side as far away from the the right as possible. Yeah, he's got he's got two two rerolls. Can make some make some GFIs. To, to secure the ball. So. Yeah, really not that bad at all. Yeah. Ooh. Pulls some GFI if he snakes it. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Hey. Okay. Are you a bit behind, Dilly? Are you watching? Will you? Are you watching Discord stream or are you? Uh, no, I'm just watching his stream, mate. All right. <clears throat> I could watch in Discord. Actually. It's actually not horrible quality for once. Yeah, Blood Bowl three does seem to work better than Blood Bowl two in this. Blood Bowl two was like it was underwater. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty strong. Yeah, so it looks like at most a 3 plus with a reroll. Well, actually, he has a couple. He has one GFI to make, one, two, two GFIs to make this turn. Looks yeah, like. if he makes the GFIs, then it's a good, good place, nice and central. Ooh, oh, a big two plus. Big two plus. Do you even. Catch his own shrimp still make it? Yeah. yeah. Now, if I'm cool troop, I just want to do the. Classic rebel thing and base the ball because he's got no reroll. Yeah. Yeah, ball base, no reroll, GG. Uh, but how do you even do that that well, right? Uh, you just blitz the guard on the front. So you blitz yep. the guard from the from the sides and you push him forwards. You put the catcher, so you push the guard onto the catcher and then you stick the guard on the ball. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to do some dodges. Yeah, do the do the few dodges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you want that guard as far away from the ball as possible. So like you blitz him from the side and push him away from the cage, and then yeah. Well, I would have put the cat. Yeah, yeah. That, that's where I would put the catcher actually. And then I blitz here, push the guard away, and then I dodge that guard and put him on the ball. So then it's harder for him to clear the back end as well. And then mighty blow guy is probably. Either doing some GFIs to try and hit the front corner. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, it'd be lovely to have him on just the front corner, not yeah, the back corner. Yeah, not that. That's too right. Or it's a dodge, isn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's a dodge double GFI. But he's got a reroll. Yeah, I don't know. Unless he's going to do the dodge blitz with the guard here. But then it puts his... The problem with this is the leader's there, yeah, which is good, but... If he blitzes the guards and it doesn't break armor, then that guard is immediately 
giving guard support to hit the leader without a blitz. Doing it this way. Oh, okay, this is actually yeah. yeah, yeah. Like well, this. Jimmy can afford no lateral movement, so if you clog him up in front, I mean, theoretically, Jimmy can go two spaces sideways before he goes forwards. Um, but, yeah. you know, that's two GFIs. At that point, you'll get 70%. Make... Yeah. Oh, he took the block. I think he needed to do the dodge there. Unless you yeah. can dodge the tackle. You can dodge the tackle and then cage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he needs to tag that guy on the uh, back right of the cage. Yeah, because otherwise, no. Even then, it doesn't solve it, does it? Both. He needed. Well, he, he just needed, doesn't yeah. want it. He doesn't he want Jim. Two more dodges than he's yeah, he, done. So he far. doesn't want Jim freeing the dwarf at the back. Yeah. Be all touched if you can. Oh, oh he's gone there. there. Yeah, or just more in front. But the hit I felt was uh, a mistake. There was yeah. always going to be three dwarfs at the rear, so why hit any of them? Yeah. So here you have. You have a three plus to score. Oh well, yeah, like he clears one of the back doors, blitzes the tackle, and then gets the assist, and then hits with the guard, and then does the dodge. I think I don't yeah. really see anything else. A valiant effort by Cool Troop. Oh, well, Jim's got no reroll, so that's this is yeah. like it's, I mean it's terrifying for Jim. Yeah, I don't think this is as simple as that. Um, you need to knock over the human at the back. Freeing the dwarf, then knock over the one that's oh. guarding the ball, and then it's two GFIs. So it's it's a decent chance, but it's not super simple. I don't see a way to make it quicker. <laughs> I would have fancied a no good dodge there, to be honest. Mm, well, this is better than. Well, this doesn't really affect anything, does it? Having this dwarf dwarf at the back free. Wait, yeah. Not really. He's wondering, like, I'm, I'm thinking, can he chain? So I think, I think currently the play is, you block with the back right, you blow with the back left dwarf, and then you just make the double GFI. I think that's that's the best, right? To there's, me, that's what I'm looking at. There's um, quite a few I mean, ways to this. To be fair. There are, but a lot of them aren't that good. That's yeah, so it's. One in thirty-six, one in thirty-six. No, sorry, one in thirty-six, one in nine, and then two one in sixes. So, yeah. Yeah. What's that? About sixty, sixty-three point two four percent of score. I mean, you can come through the other guys, but it's. It's tricky. It's then a, you've got a three plus dodge off. You've added in if you don't. Yeah, so you have to blitz off and go with okay, the two. Yeah, done it like this. Gets, gets the, power. the power right, so now it's just a 2 plus 2 plus. Yeah. He'd love yeah. to have reroll cover for this, but he yeah. doesn't. Well, I mean, yeah. he's a free roll as well anyway, because there's no human scoring for at least. Yeah. Well, are they still doing all of these moves for some reason? But, you know. I think that's going threat safety. is implied safety. for next half, to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the, put the put the scoring in the strike threat in just no hit. no these are about getting away from mighty blow hits oh, so he doesn't want his mighty blow knocked over he doesn't want the troll blitzing him easily so that he doesn't suffer those ones oh. and oh. he goes down oh, took wire into time nice. yeah. two plus too much two plus too much to ask or if I had a poetic soul I would of course have said too 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 much What's the dicing? <laughs> Free Kaz Dwarfs here, let's go. Comedy Mega. Yeah, three fails and six GFIs. So. This is a guard on. one as well. Oh, oh Jim used his Zappo. When did Jim use his Zappo? Did he? Did he Dwarf use coaches it? shouldn't really do GFIs, that's fairly well known, I think. <laughs> Mighty blow counteracting fixed goal. So, yeah, it could be, could be a player down. I oh, know because he's got a second runner, so he'll be a block. Uh, apparently, there was now. a dead guard dwarf that he uh, appeared. Oh, okay. Did it come back to life? Uh, seems like it. Oh, 
came back. Yeah. Okay. Cool. See, this is why I was looking at moving over to the left, because none of these humans could have reached the left. Whereas they could all reach the middle, you know? So, that, yeah, yeah, the cage is better, but... Well, so it was, a, it was a screen of two on the left, or a cage of four. Yeah, the... yeah, I was like, I, well, yeah. just none of these linos and blitzers and stuff could have made it all the way over to the left, so I think... Yeah. I would, I would have been tempted just to go out of range of all the guys on the floor. Yeah, and then we'd have to Not make a bad the, show, uh... Demi. But I think Jimmy was Jimmy very was unlucky. Yeah, yeah, he Firstly, was. Firstly, yeah. the, the, the churn of his reroll collection on those GFIs was, was, was harsh. Yeah. Not and then, like, unthinkable, you, but harsh. And if then you go just, with his green, it's kind of like, you are giving him red dice with the catch-up. And then the humans did have a turn where they made all their dodges. That's and true, knocked yeah. over the dwarves when they hit them. Um, except wow. the Ogre. So, yeah. It was a... Unlucky turn for Jimmy, followed by a great turn for the humans in terms of just the, the, duck, the luck profile. And that yeah. changed the momentum enough to cause Jimmy that 2 plus 2 plus, which failed. Yeah, and uh, doesn't have his care failed, so uh, he's fielding his second runner. Sea Shark, I, I don't think we'll see Jimmy quit this, no matter how bad it is. He's on a shot to nothing anyway. He's done what he wanted from this competition, which is he's qualified for the money stage, the next stage of the quest for the money. Um, so I, I think he'll play it out, see if he gets lucky and gets some, I think it's free warp stone and a, a hug. Thousand, thousand Gautier. warp stone. Well, thousand. I mean, blimey. Who wouldn't cross the road for that? If he waits Five. three years, he might even get a team he likes. Way. Bantar! <laughs> it's, it's undead next, bro. Is that official? Is that, is it? No. Uh, it's, there's, there's a teaser with a zombie in it, so... Under yeah, but ne necro. necro has I've zombies. been playing Necro for a long, long time. I believe well, it's, it's like a... crazy not to. There's something new about them which Blood Bowl 2 players won't have played. They're released, they're settled, they're stupidly overpriced, <laughs> and there's no dead teams in the game. So if it's not Necro, it has to be undead. So I'm not shocked there was a zombie. Yeah. Where was that? I haven't seen it. Is it in those BB3 discords I try and avoid? No, exclusively on Facebook. Oh, wow, okay. Well, another place that I've tried. Yeah, because uh, the average, like, 40-year-old blood bowler always on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a bunch of events on Facebook, too, that I... As for all the new cool kids. Is that right? Yes, yeah, that's just... the one fly in the ointment, Rainier, is that... Um, Necro makes so much sense. It's so obvious and such a good <laughs> idea that the odds of cyanide doing it seem really low. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um... God, outbashed, outbashed, or loads of ones. <laughs> but it's it's the, it's certainly best to get diced in the last one where it doesn't really matter, isn't it? So this is this is yeah, okay, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna, gonna, you gonna win, mate. You're gonna win. I'll, I'll all gravy and not over. Well, it's uh, what's the other the other the other tournaments? Double elimination, isn't it? So you get, you get to be diced one game. I'm pretty sure it is. Where, I saw where was that released? On Yahoo or Ask Chiefs? Was, I think that was exclusively on, in, in the in-game client. Right. With a link to a dock. <laughs> so. I, AOL. I have no idea. Where, on its validity. Oh, quick snap. Yeah. That's, that's like brutal. Can you actually hit the guard now? No, that's too far to go. You can't get the assist. Uh, you can do that cool thing with quick snap where you put another player in and you can get the chain to get an extra hit. Ooh. But he, he didn't. No, he can. He could hit the I mean, well, technically you can, but then it's... Uh... One, two, three, four, why five, has he six. Put, like, why has he put the assist there? The mighty blows on the other side. What are you doing? <laughs> One, two, three, just four, five. Him for facing him safe? <laughs> what happened there? Yeah, what... One KO the whole first half from a little bit of pacing, so surely yeah, can't do any harm. To be fair, I do that all the time. Like I go right, I set up, I go right, I'm gonna blitz this guy with my mighty blow, and then I immediately put an assist on on the other side of the board and go, why have I done that? <laughs> <laughs> why? Yes, but but these people are quite good at blood bowling. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you settled uh, on what you're taking in your second or blitzer for uh, Greece, Timmy? No, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna play knobs at tabletop quite a lot this year, so I will make my mind up. 
I'd experiment to like and tackle. find out. Yeah, I've been. I, I played a game with Frenzy that was interesting and fun. Yeah. I don't know if I'm good enough to have a Frenzy Blitzer though. And with then, all of your control options on a knob team, it's it's a beguiling option to have a Frenzy to match all of that. Yeah, really, but yeah. then I have used the tackle one, and that was quite good as well. So. But if or you're thinking good specifically in Greece, we're expecting less of the bullshit matter. So yeah. Less, less stunty races. Less maybe need for a tackler. I mean, in terms of... Well, yeah. I mean, got, Zons and Underworld are like... Zons and Underworld are probably the best two races in the format, so... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But in terms of a blodger, <laughs> you've got lots of wrestle to take down a strength three blodger. Tackle is really useful for you know, getting rid of the snot filth. Yeah. And goblins and things. But yes, obviously it's useful against Amazons and Underworld. I mean, you could surf blodgers anyway, can't you? So. Snake. Yeah. And four hits oh. gives a reasonable chance of a pow, but I I don't know. I think the current meta points towards a tackle if ever you can grab one in easily. And then Frenzy does help for the one turner as well, though. You're, you're yes. one turning with knobs, are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, who, yeah who's I, I, can seven, I can move seven one turn. The blitz, uh, are, the blitz hands off, like, obviously, passing's a bit crap. But... Well, you, yeah. Because you, you don't need the thrower at level 90, right? No, I don't want the thrower at all, no. It's garbage. That, because they're so very terrible. They are the what? They're, they're comedy bads, the uh, really throwers. Are. Yeah. So when I played them, like, two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Maybe three weeks ago? It's no, it almost was, like was, someone was, was given the uh, the like the design of like make the worst thrower in the game, and like <laughs> that's what they came up with. And they worked quite hard, and then they realised that that was already the orc thrower, so they had to oh, yeah, go back to the drawing thing. board, yeah. start all over again, and this is the best they came up with as the second worst thrower. In yeah, the game. Sure. <laughs> take your point. Uh, I think I, I I like the idea of the uh, renegade pro of having a dark elf on your team and. And, and giving the ball to just a regular human. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's solely a leader caddy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. You can you can start with him and the Dark Elf and all three big guys and then just score twice on them in the first game, which is quite yeah. nice. Yeah, that. It's really but... useless, yeah. Yeah. Jim, Jim just willing his guard to come back from his uh, KO there. Yes, I think that Asian guy in the 2016 rules, that was a lot less true. Um, and it was a lot more debatable if you could actually avoid it altogether. I I think the new meta, I mean, Black Orcs with their Goblin Phil, um, you know, Lizard Men being quite strong, the amount of Elves and Dark Elves doing really well, Underworld having just legions of little dodgy things. Yeah. I think it's more essential now. Yeah, I think it's got a lot stronger. Put your players in the right squares, lads. He's up, and he's in. Is he going to try the uh, pick-up handoff again, or is he... Uh... Sorry, Debbie, are you talking to us, or is that you and Michelle, and we <laughs> should be hearing as well? <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Back Wee. to hey. There's yeah, going to be a lot really of humans good. getting punched this next turn. Holy moly. <laughs> Yeah, there is, but um, I mean, it's depressing for the dwarfs. They are so limited in tournaments. People hate them so much. They get so unfairly penalised. And if you actually look, they're reasonably low on guard pieces. You know so, what? <laughs> I'm I'm tempted to buy a dwarf team because they're like one of the only teams that you can buy one box and you've got the team. You don't want two troll slayers, do you? No, not really. Yeah, so. But, you know, it's like, compared to some of the other teams, I mean, there's not a lot of teams out there that you can just buy one box and they've got everything. Yeah. Um, well, you don't have a death roller. No, they're like 50 quid, they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very ridiculous. Just get, just so, get like a 3D printed team. Apparently, the, the prize for potty might be a death roller. Might be. No spoilers. All oh, right. There's Dio's potty. Yeah, player of the year on Fumble. I've got one. Yeah, I've got like five, but it's a. I love. I love the Death Roller model. To be fair, I think it's the best Death Roller we've had. Some of the older ones, classic as they are, were utter rubbish. 
Mighty blow hit on the guard. Yeah, oh, no, it wasn't a mighty blow hit, it was the other guy. Uh, yeah, fails to pick up. No re roll? Yeah, you can't re roll it. Is that on? Oh, it's not on the sideline. Yeah, so interestingly, rather than. If you're not going to re roll it, then just pick up handoff is better, right? Yeah. Thing is, you can't move the leader, though, that's the thing. Well, you can also just do a 2 plus pass, right? Or move the leader beforehand and guarantee that he moves to where he is. <coughs> Alright, how many how many humans go splat here? Uh, Three? That, that guard one in the middle is a bit awkward to hit. But yeah. Did, um, oh, this did one of Jimmy's, guard, Jimmy's guards get permanently removed? He uh, KO'd. He got KO'd. Right. KO'd in turn 8 one, after one the got Kaz, then he apoed it and it came back. And then and the, the other one, one is got still KO'd. KO'd. Yeah. Got and then KO'd on just... turn 8 after yeah, the... Uh... Two guard, a block and a mighty blow on the field, doesn't he, basically? So that's yeah. one human gone splat. Doesn't feel like yeah. a lot. I mean, the humans have two guards, too. Ah, oh, pushes. Boo! Oh, uh, don't push him. Don't push him. <laughs> well, you want to... Well, Wait, if you push him, you get an extra block, right? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, no, you don't, you don't even, do you? You can uh, cancel the ogre, I'd which push is quite back. helpful. Oh, I don't know. But I'm not sure it does much that's great. Yeah. Maybe. Actually. Another thing playing knobs did to me was it made me so happy about my opponent's bad block dice. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. I can't wait for that. It's that turn. It's the one turn where everything they do is a push or yeah. or a, bot, a block and they're either getting wrestled or fended yeah. or, st or stood firm. Like There's no joy like it in Blood Bowl. When but then just... the, the flip side is you're playing and... You roll all the one in nines, and at the yeah. end of your turn, that you've got your team on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, right? Yeah. <laughs> he needs to come over, doesn't he? Yeah. It's also thinking about how that uh, my nab the nobility mirror that I lost ended a 16-game unbeaten streak I had on tabletop, which is a bit sad. But get, at least it was a game involving the best well, race we're in the game. Were 15 of them as underworld against no, the coaches? No, <laughs> no, in, in tournaments, Timmy, in tournaments. I don't, I don't play underworld in tournaments. Um, yeah. Oh, you got one, you got one, Kaz. Put the ogre down, at least. There's an ogre bonehead, so it's going to be interesting for the humans. Yeah, I think... Problem is, dwarves yeah. are just so crap at putting pressure on the ball, aren't they? You know, they're just like, he's kind yeah. of just sat here banging, and then, like, the humans are actually in a. Like, this would be a rough spot for the humans had it been any other race other than dwarves. Is uh, Jim just time BMing him by running his bank down? What's going on here? He's I think he's thinking it's his opponent's turn. Yeah. Oh, there, uh, there we go. Uh, he was just <laughs> testing the field, admiring his work. I don't know what that just literally ate three minutes of his time bank. Professional <laughs> play here, ladies and gentlemen. Good turn, me. <laughs> you, yeah, great turn. Wow, look at my shape. Isn't it lovely? I could stare at this for another three minutes. Oh, imagine we didn't. Imagine he didn't know and then just ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes turns for the rest of the game. Oh my god. Yeah. Two minute turns on like on when it's your full time back oh, no animation pauses. <laughs> did, did you see the AFK that Rick had the other day where it's like he had to sit there for seven minutes for the time bank <laughs> and then two minutes every turn. It's like it's made an AFK <laughs> game like Yeah. Four times the length that it used to be. It's <laughs> the only reason you need the time bank is because every animation takes like four minutes to activate. That's the problem, isn't it? You don't yeah. need the time bank on BB2, like. And you you actually need it, like, to throw teammate, it takes about 30 seconds just to do that <laughs> one action, like, it's bonkers. And that's once you figured it out. Select pass, move where you want to go to, no wait, no wait, that cancels it. No, you got to select the <laughs> person that you're passing, yeah. yeah, and then the square that you're throwing it to. 
Yeah. Each one takes 17 clicks. <laughs> yeah. They used to be um, fumble miners that were... Was it one minute turns or two minute turns? Whoa! Can't Ah... Uh, oh, quads! No! Oh. Hang on, was that a... That, that was quads. That? That was oh, it quads. was quads. Yeah, I know, but was it alone? It, like... It the leader. There's, there's also just a random... There's a, so yeah, each there's, the re-roll is completely... Yeah. Hang on, there's got to be a chain push here to get one of these dwarves out. Holy uh, right. No. Uh... Not really. Yeah, yeah, there is. You block. You can block the ogre for it. Yeah, there is. That is disaster for the humans. So yeah, you run the run around, and then you block this lineman, and then you follow with him, and then you have, and then you have. I think you have something. Not entirely sure. Wait. Oh, do you I have should have gone with the guard. Oh, he wants to free the guard, I guess. Yeah, he can blitz through with the guard. Oh, oh my god. Pushes. This is hilarious. This is like <laughs> the best opportunity ever, and you can do absolutely nothing to capitalize yeah. on it. Cause... <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. I can't wait for Jim to look back over at his guard guy on the Kaz bench. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been so much easier if I had this guy. Oh, oh here we go. mighty blow. Oh. Okay. Oh, I get scared. Uh, do you? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, he, this should be done in normal time, either way. I think. Yeah. What's he done there? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe he's chaining out a dwarf out the back. Oh, like this? No. Wait, no. what? What's going on here? Maybe he brainworms. Brainworms. <clears throat> One oh, I see where he's going. He's going to one D the ogre, then he's uh, going to. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's going to make that gap through there. And then he can blitz, right? Hey, one D, one D gets the first. Well, no, this, this, he wanted to clear that square that he was in, so the both downs pretty crap there. Uh... Oh, the power there. Power. there. Yeah, now all the humans are lying down, and so you yeah, take... he's got he's got nowhere to go for, has he? So he's yeah. He's... I guess you blitz the lineman with the runner, and you just just slot the guard in. One. Square I mean, up. I will say, I will say that this has completely screwed the humans for their next turn. Right? So it's, uh... Uh, actually, you can just you do the go for it if this is a power. It's not. Oh, that's sad. One, two, four, five, six. You don't quite have enough movement to get all the way around. Yeah, and then he just slips the guard in and punches, right? Yeah. Around the side. Ooh. Yeah, no, around the... Do you... Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, all the blocks, but all pushes. Pretty much. He got the one removable, but... He got a few powers, but it's just... I mean, the humans, are the humans are completely screwed. They're gonna stand. They just all have to stand up and get punched again. It's uh... yeah. So he's got th three players standing, four players standing. Yeah, and the two stuns are pretty big. The ogre might not get up. If the ogre yeah, doesn't ogre get up, he's head. completely screwed. Yeah. Yeah. So here is where troll slayer is super nice, right? Because you have, if you have it next to the tr the ogre for. Oh, slightly gets, easier. Rolls a six as well. He super gets up. <laughs> I always say stuff I like mean, that on table. I mean, I mean that was a. <laughs> I think that was a superb stand up. What point do they add that? Where <laughs> roll a you six on your bonehead? You of movement. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, it doesn't. If you roll a six on bonehead, it doesn't cost you the three squares of movement to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> I think my other favourite to say on tabletop is uh, mightily stunned when you push you break the armour without using it and uh... Mightily stunned. Yeah. I also sometimes say mighty push if I'm getting very annoyed with my block guys. So <laughs> watch out for that one. Uh. So I don't normally complain about my block dice that much. Uh 
The thing I complain about most in terms of dice is my opponent's armor dice. Mate. Oh, he won in nines! Oh, yeah. the... There has to be 2D on the ball. <clears throat> for, for a final, both of these teams have been pretty horrendous. At... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of cool troops games have been like this. Just I mean, I fail something, you fail something. <laughs> he, uh, could surf, he could surf the ball here. Yeah, I don't hate that. Um, yeah, he'd have to clear a dwarf through the middle, but he can definitely surf it, and it would be a two dice surf as well because it's a catcher. Yeah. So what? So block there. One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, it's quite easy actually. So you, you need your pal here. Oh, he's not. Is he going? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you go one, two, three, four for the assist, and then fill in with the runner, and then you've got two D with the other runner pushing him onto the sideline, and then you double GFI stuff. Double GFI. Double GFI. No, and then there's no catcher, as well. Which is yeah, yeah. Nicer. Oh, no, does it no. like this? He's not doing it. He's not doing it. It has to be better, right? Just get rid of the one. Well, no, he, he can still do it, but he's, I think he's thinking about punching the ogre oh. as well. Because if he punches the ogre, he doesn't have to do the GFIs to do the surf, right? Because he can just yep. blitz with the guard guy or or the uh, other one. No, oh, no you, you've got your way through, right? Yeah. 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 So this just like this just looks like he's freeing up a tackle. Right, maybe he then. doesn't. Maybe he so, doesn't want to surf because he doesn't want the ball flying so, out. And maybe he can't get it. Yeah. So this is a pal, and now this long beard gets two two D on the ball. But yeah, yeah, yeah I guess I guess it going out. Yeah, guess pal. Ball pal. No, on the sideline. Side what? Because now seems... he can't. Yeah, yeah. If the ball shows up. He's got a GFI out of the way to so get the runner through. Yeah, surely if no, you're going to. No, you got GFI, Jim. What are you doing? GFI. Oh, he's gonna, is he going to jump? No. Why would you jump? A jump's a three plus, isn't it? The GFI yeah. is a two plus. The style factor. <laughs> well, the GFI is a two plus. It yeah. Doesn't... Yeah. So GFI one square up, and then. Yeah. He's he's yeah. That other dwarf just needs to sit on the leader and the guard, and then. Yeah. Oh, it was cool. It's the fucking one. Classic Jim. Uh, and a one in nine this pick up and it's gonna <laughs> fly into his end zone. Oh my god! Uh, wait, how that guard blitzer on the right? How far along can he get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, you have to. It's it's actually kind of awkward where you ha where you can stand. Get some oh, ball. He's got it. He could even dodge that blitzer. He could dodge the guard there and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah. Oh, gets it. Nice. Uh, do you do a GFI? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Oh, course. Yes, very nice done. Even though you used, used the few GF, used the few rerolls. Four oh, plus GFIs aren't very good, are they? You know, like I'm playing with fucking moles in a blizzard here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> We're drunk it. <laughs> Four plus. Uh, I think it's actually been closer to five plus, maybe. You can get six plus GFIs with it? double molehills, double <laughs> molehills, blizzard, and yeah. drunk it. You can literally be GFI on sixes in Blood Bowl 2020. Cause... Is that six? Isn't that five? No, double mole heals. If the opponent starts with mole heals and then you get it as a prayer, you get double mole heals. And then you got drunk oh, yeah. Yeah. and you got a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> so you can achieve, but, but like, it must have happened to someone. Like, yeah. honestly, the amount of games. I, I reckon five. I've never had double moles. Yeah, I've seen double moles. I've seen double moles. I've not seen double moles at a blizzard and drunkards, but I have definitely seen double moles. Yeah. It's just hilarious that it's even a possibility, right? So. Uh, Rainer, I think it's about... <clears throat> I think it's been... Well, so it was 6 and 3 in the first half. Oh, what, double skulls or something? No, uh, GFI fails. So it's just going to uh, play forward a catcher, is it? You can double base the ball, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, that's guard there. Ooh. Ooh. 
1D. So no base of the ball. It's not GG. No ball based. Yeah, and his catch is completely trapped on the wrong side of the neighbourhood. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. And Jim can if Jim Powell's the one next to the ogre, not the mighty blow the other the leader. Yeah. Oh there's a guard there. Ooh. Yeah, the guard is gonna dodge and make things difficult. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's, that's a bit tricky. I mean, what better way to win a game of Blood Bowl than with a full-blown potato? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, so you need a... This is total Blood Bowl right here. Yeah, you need a 75% pal on... Well, knockdown on the leader. No, he can... Yeah, right. he can... He can basically... He can hit the guards with the non-mighty blow one. And then push him out of the way. And then he can tag the blitz or the line that's on That's only one bit, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, ignore me. Disregard. So you you block with you block with the one next to the ogre that's not guard. On leader. Put yeah, if you power you free. Yeah. And yeah. Then you so hit the guard, and then you get then, the two D yeah. guard. Yeah. And then you can blitz the other guard, and then you free up that one and the other one. Oh, that's Gets a lovely power. power. That's a wonderful power. Beautiful. I rolled a power once. I I rolled a power once. Wow. I was trying to surf. <laughs> the way it is, isn't it? Uh, he's he's a. Ooh. Uh, this is still fine, yeah. Well, it is if he powers him next time. Yeah. It's the power. What a dice in. What a dice in. And the armor then... break. Of course, it's an armor break. <laughs> yeah, and then you have this free long beard here as well. So of you course, to there. it's an armor break. What? And then you have the block with the mighty blow, and he goes one, two, three, four to close up the other side. Yeah. And yeah, very nice. And then it's GG, Bob's your father's brother. Oh, spanner in the works. Uh, yeah, that's awkward. Yeah, you don't re-roll that, surely. I I'd consider it for more than, for longer than I should. Dub skulls. Yeah. I mean, realistically, what can actually hit the ball? Uh, let's see. Nothing really. Well, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's almost home free. But uh, do you dodge here? Yeah. Oh, uh, then the GFI. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. I don't even think he needs the the GFI. To be honest, just a dodge. Uh, you quite want to stop him from basing the ball. Right, because because he has to blitz to get through the first line currently. Yeah, well, doesn't yeah. have to. But have you seen him GFI though? <laughs> I think. Well, uh, yeah. The problem is you re-roll the GFI if you fail. Um, and it like he needs to power that dwarf, and he can't really put an assist in. And boy, well, you'd have to blitz it, and if he gets the yeah. blitz, then he's fucked anyway. So yeah. Well, oh, I don't. don't like yeah, that, that's don't. a bit rowdy. Yeah. Well, what he's thinking is the ogre can hit the other guy and then open up. Oh, then follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you have to throw it then. But if you, even if you if you push. Yeah. Well, if you push, you're still getting served, right? Yeah. Tricky. Tricky. So hope for Tricky. an ogre bonehead roll one in nine. Well, you still got to throw a block with an ogre. Yeah, it's pretty. The st the the stun on the uh, guard at the top is the. Massive, yeah. Yeah, Switch. I seems that Jimmy's turned this around while I've been wiped away. Yeah, yeah. like uh, one in all troop one in oh quad scold and then yeah, one in and nine. then one in nine. <laughs> yeah, uh, so cool troop uh, Yeah, he's had some uh, some rough dice. Adversity. Yeah. Glorious adversity. So here he's got yeah he gets it so now he can surf the dwarf and he get he full base. <clears throat> Well, he can force the score and give himself uh, one turn. Can he really turn. force the score that much? Like, well, so how many players well, he's has he got? Got, he's got to roll a million GFIs. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even then, you can probably hold out for one more turn if you're insistent. There's a lot of dwarfs up there. Yeah. So he, he needs a double base here, doesn't he? Ba -bom 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 -bom. Yes, if you can clear the, the runner in any way, you can just move over to the right and screen it with what dwarves. Oh, that's the wrong square. He should be one directly behind him and one directly on his left. Oh, I guess, hang on, no. 
We have to make extra gear flows. Yeah, okay. Maybe that is the right square. So now he needs to go to the one on the right of the uh, runner, like the back right of the runner, right? Which he can't. It's a four plus dodge. But yes, that would be the ideal place to be. Oh, so yeah. now he has to go directly behind him and then he just runs all the way around and chains him out. Oh. Fails the rush. Oh, why, do, why is he doing the rush with that player? I don't no, know. No. Line yeah. puts in the reroll. So, yeah, so it was one rush to base the ball with the catcher. Um, yeah, but he's got no rerolls. Yeah. Okay, he makes it. So, yeah. if if these couple of dodges here work out, yeah, we... to tie up the other dwarfs, he's got uh, <clears throat> one in nine shot, hasn't he? Well, Jim yeah. might just Jim might just stand and punch here. Yeah? He might just like put the assist in, blitz with a guard, and then punch with the runner and just stay there for a turn. Well, it's whether those two can be tied up. There's yeah. two dodges that can tie up those two dwarfs. Yeah, he needs to punch that guy next to the tackle as well, doesn't he? No. No, you dodge with him. No, you oh, dodge and... that guy as well. The two oh, remaining yeah. both dodge and tie up the two remaining. So dwarfs. fails dodge. Oof, that's that's a guard gone as well. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have got my own player cast there. <laughs> Uh, no, but you'd you have been scored yeah. against. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you can go around the back, and then there's another. It's two, three GFIs to go around the back and use the square to clear both. I, I uh, think prefer the three plus. I see a way with two GFIs. I think. Oh yes, one's a blitzer, isn't it? So yes, two GFIs. One to get there and one to hit. Yeah. Well, then you do. You try that. Well, it's tricky though if you hey. if you won if you won that one then it's it's tricky. Yes. Now fifty five percent knockdown to get the score. Misses it. So now it's the three dice one in nine to dodge. Yeah. No, you could just punch him. Yeah, you can just. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a reasonably stable position. You can. There's other humans that can arrive if he's lucky, but he's no rerolls. I don't know, I mean, 8 out of 9 to get completely clear, it's very tempting. Hmm. Oh yeah, because then if he dodges, then he doesn't score, he just, yeah. Yeah, I think I like the stand and hit, to be honest. I don't like it if you're going to that square. Yeah, I, don't, I think he's dodging, I think he's going He's dodging. Fine. He's dodging if you go to that square, I feel like. Yeah, and I and if you follow, so. Oh, he's stalling! Yeah, of course he's. <clears throat> He's looking at the dodge stall because you'd look, but I. It's it's you fine. Get based, don't you? Yeah. So, if you do the one in nine, you just you just bang it in. Feels like. I probably do. Yes. I don't know. It's yeah. a puzzler. He can just hit and stay. It's reasonably secure. Um. But yeah. But Jim also probably wins overtime, right? Yeah. Although it's hard yeah. to see with no rerolls. Or you can dodge and score, and then with no rerolls, it's hard to see the human scoring in two, but not impossible. Or you dodge and stall, and then again, very hard to see how they stop you. Yeah, yeah. So there was a way earlier where he could have surfed the ball rather than just hitting it. Oh, uh, oh two points. Oh. Oh, that makes, uh, makes it. Right, so no rerolls versus no rerolls. Humans have two turns. Yeah, so they're, but they're down a guard. Yeah. Uh, and Jim's guard did not come back. I think. No, he's got. Ten. No, he's, he's got a full it. team. He's got a full team. Oh no, team. the guard didn't come back. It's the runner in it. It's the second. Yeah. yeah. Crappy he's runner. got eleven though. Yeah. Yeah, it's got eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good square for the guards there to make it hard yeah. to get through. And then stops the quick snap. <clears throat> Very nice. I'm, um, I'm quite sad that uh, there wasn't a Gretz emote spanned there by a Cool Troop. <laughs> well, they, they need to they need to get a Gratz emote, don't they? In uh, BB3. I thought you thought Gratz was only toxic. He's toxic. If it was... Is yeah, it, that, no, that thought... would be a completely toxic Gratz like right now. I'm slightly you... disappointed to be the first to be dropping the GG. Gratz, I uh, I uh, quad scold and you won. Well done. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Gratz, you won ten yeah. quid because I quad scold. Comedy horror dicing. 10 quid's worth of warp stone. Yeah, it's not even 10 quid. Yeah. yeah. You've bought more, ain't, more content. Ain't no one yeah, offering him 10 quid for it. I won one of the uh, the random like spins that streamers were doing, and I was like, cool, I'll save that for the Camry season. <laughs> what, what did you win? 
Uh, like a bunch of streamers got given a thousand warp zone to just give out. Oh, what? Know, on just a random spin. You're playing fumble, Demi. They wouldn't give it out to you if you're a fumble stream. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't offered it either. Whereas I was offered the um, the season pass, uh, the free underworld. Were well, they? They gave you the free season pass. Wow. Yeah. Well, Nacon gave me the game, so I can't complain. But I wasn't offered the the give it out to your stuff. I haven't been streaming much lately. I, I want to get back into streaming. It's just it's, it's so horrendous. much easier to find other things to do that aren't quite as much of an arse egg. I will say, like with the grid and with the grass, it's all it's right. Getting it's, getting it's without the without the grid. The grid makes all the difference. If someone's streaming and they're not got the grid on, I, I lose interest. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if it's if it's the grass pitch exclusively. Uh, yeah, yeah like be. all of the yeah, all the you, other. You pitches. can't guarantee that you can spin into someone and yeah. suddenly have to yeah. use their pitch. So cool, cool. Yeah. you do have to cope. Like yesterday was a great day for Blood Bowl because I, I think every single game I played was on a grass pitch. <laughs> yeah, every so, game yeah. I play is on a grass pitch too. It's amazing. I just I think press, people just pick the non grass pitches. Basic. I think people genuinely pick the non grass pitches for concedes. So like it's just like oh yeah. I just I just I just. Uh, pick settings and then pick basic pitch and then and then it man. says grass pitch rolling it's perfect. The lizard man pitch is by and large the worst. What's he doing here? Yeah, uh, he's trying to clear the LOS to get get through. So he's just gonna give it to the catcher and potato. Problem with all this is if you fail anything you just cannot score whereas uh Oh I see what he's doing, yeah yeah. Yeah. And now he's got two D there, and if this is a push, he's completely fucked. Or a one and nine. Yep. Yeah. And now he's completely fucked. So now he's got no scoring for it. Where he could have just put a guard in and blitz down one side and ran the guy down. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. But his only guard. So yeah, this is. Yeah, this it's, is... it's turn bloody fifteen, isn't it? Like he's not scoring now. That's yeah, it. it's nice. He's... He has to do four plus, four plus, three plus. On top yeah, of three plus three plus. No, GG. there's a there's a four three through. Oh yeah. You come around the. He didn't there. use that route, but there was. Uh, yeah. If you Wrong came from the side yeah, of the ogre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have made it. Well. Side of the ogre. Yeah, you would have made it if he did the better route. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he didn't. So there we are. It's it's a win for Jim. GG. Glorious. <laughs> oh. Just well takes done, a quad skull. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I was I was in a blizzard and moles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was facing a blizzard and moles in my defense. Also, like his glorious. ball handling was hilariously was, bad, wasn't that, it? Like that he just that failed was just some uh, glorious adversity, Jim. Like he should be celebrating. Oh yeah! You don't I was want to be. Oh, God. Yeah, I think the, the one to make The one oh, major yeah. thing I was surprised about is that you didn't surf the ball. Yeah. I think the reason was because he didn't want the ball to go away. When it's, it's a player commitment, yeah. isn't it? I didn't, I didn't mind the ball going in the, in the, play, into the like out of oh, bounds. Oh, crowds! Yeah, because yeah, that was weird. I did push him. I did push him there, which I probably shouldn't have. But, but I didn't care no, that much. But I wanted the I think, runner like able to react, right? I, yeah, yeah but like when commitment. when you pushed him, you blocked the channel down the left, and then like so I fought surf him was my first thought and then if you're not going to surf him don't knock him to the sideline yes. knock him in so yeah. then the ball doesn't scatter yeah. out and then you can run up the left side and get it so but it was like, it was a commitment to surf right it was a commitment to surf Foul him. i didn't want to try and surf him at all it was a too much of a commitment to surf I uh, fair enough remember the run up <laughs> yeah you can can't you when you're not based right uh, I'll, I'll go here so it's it's more correct <laughs> we <laughs> Hello and Arian, yep. That, Four. Is, that is it. He's glorious. Foul. No, it's not, he's stunned. Oh, I'm sent off. <laughs> hey, oh, I'll give a call. Call. <laughs> What a good mechanic. Four. I mean if he if he can get if he can get <laughs> enough pushes off this, that's <laughs> off to him. <laughs> Look, we don't argue that it couldn't be even better for Underworld, so how would that be okay? Yeah. You know what Underworld need is they need another gutter runner. Yeah. yeah. A bit of a boost, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One with stab that that makes him sixty percent to remove if he breaks. I don't, I don't think it, one gutter runner is enough for Underworld. I think they need two, yeah. just in case one gets cast. 
Yeah. Well, I, uh, I, also, I should have GFI'd with the run of the turn before, right, to lock that down. But yeah. I just, I just, I was well, so annoyed at failing every GFI. Yeah. But then obviously I ended up having to do a three plus, so I should have just done the GFI and then would have probably got another turn of stall out of it. But probably would have slammed your ball carrier. Yeah. 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 Dimmy, I, yeah. <laughs> Dimmy, I think it's it's Snotlings with two gut runners that I'm more scared of. Mate, chorfs. That's why they're two one. They knew Tanks about up. it. They knew about it, but they didn't tell anyone. Ah, they well, they, they probably won't be in the. In yeah, the I don't know thankfully. anything about what Games Workshop are doing until they do it, right? Yeah, no, I, th I think I think Games Workshop didn't know, so I think I think <laughs> oh, he did the, he did the jump to try and do something. Come oh, how cute! <laughs> Glorious. Oh, I could have jumped with my Blitzer earlier, couldn't I? Hmm. End of the time. My Blitzer, I thought I, I freed him up, and then I'm like. Oh, I can do something with this. And oh, I like I like the I way couldn't... you just sat there for like three minutes after you finished the turn. As well. that, <laughs> yeah. was, that was some proper professional play there, Jimmy. There's no fun. Yeah. I, I clicked end the turn and just didn't end the turn. End the turn. It, it just didn't end the turn. I clicked end the turn. It just hadn't Nobody ended. Nobody in chat spammed end the turn either. Game's end the terrible. turn, man. Game's terrible, but there you go. <laughs> ogre got man of the match. I disagree. Uh, I thought he was. Yeah. A, I thought he was a pretty good ogre. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, now just uh, seven yeah, more Jim, games I'd, on my ball. Jim, I'd love mm -hmm. to look at your turn seven again. Would you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what? I think. Uh, yeah, there was some. Because you want to see all of the ones again. Oh yeah. no, I want to see. I want to see <laughs> if you could have just ran to the left, left without a cage. Run the left. No, no. What? Well, all you're leaving on is slow. red dice. All you're leaving on is the red dice with no. the with the catcher. No, absolutely not. Yeah, I'm sure you could have Hard disagree that. from me, which is why I did it. We can, can we, look, though. We can, can look. Anyway, first of all, let's end the YouTube. Let's end yeah. the YouTube. Thank you very much for PC, Dementor, and Dimmy. I'm sure it was excellent commentary, honed in on the game, and didn't miss a dead uh, dwarf whatsoever, a dead guard dwarf. <laughs> um, absolute professionals, a lot of you. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>